guys and welcome back to my channel. If I sound really weird it's because I've got a cold because obviously it's winter now and I always get cold. So today I'm going to be opening into my everyday makeup bag. So I have more makeup but this is just literally what I keep by my mirror so I could just grab it in the morning and put it on so it's just sort of my everyday sort of makeup that I usually use. So I have this bag and as you can see it's really full. I've only got a stain of it from some nail varnish. It's pretty grim. Um, I think this was just a bag that I got with some perfume because so it's like a juicy couture bag. So I think it's just if I got a juicy couture like perfume set I got this bag. So I'm going to open it and show you guys what is inside. So first off we have this bandana and this is a bandana that I put on my head um, to put all my like hair away so I don't get any hair caught in my makeup. So first off, excuse me because this is just literally disgusting but obviously all makeup gets grim. So this is my Primer Pure Glow Highlighting Palette and it just looks like this. Um, this, I've done like a tutorial on this um, ages ago, like months ago and this, <coughs> sorry, and my tutorial on this is my most viewed video so if you guys want to see a tutorial on it go on that video because this is like literally my most successful video is when I did a tutorial <coughs> on this oh this is so grim <coughs> so this is my Soph X Revolution palette if you guys watch Soph does nails and you'll know about this literally I love this palette but why did she pick this colour? Because mine is so grim and I try wiping it, it doesn't come off. Literally, literally it looks disgusting. Also, I don't know if it's just mine, um, but I don't think like the actual packaging was very good quality because mine snapped. Um, and I was like there when it snapped, like nothing sort of like fell on it or something. I don't know, it just sort of snapped off. But anyway, I love the eyeshadows inside and I love using these. Um, this is like this is the only eyeshadow palette in my everyday makeup. Usually I do like today sort of like, like a pinky look or a brownie look. Or sometimes I just use the shimmers like these gold shimmers and these shimmers. Just put a shimmer on my eye and I think it looks super pretty. Then I have a L'Oreal lip paint. This is in the size. Uh, size. This is in the shade. Uh, 211 which is babing um, because I've never been into nude lipsticks but suddenly I have become into nude lipsticks like you know just for like every day we just want a nude lipstick not like a full of bold one so I popped into Boots and I bought because it's always like 3 for 2 I bought 3 of these so there might be some more in there I'm not too sure so I just popped this on my lips then I have the all famous simple moisturiser and I always put this on before I do anything on my face because it nice and moisturises your face. Then I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills, like literally this is disgusting, like I'm so sorry, like all of it is disgusting. So this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in the shade light to medium and I always use this. I always use the contour shades really. <coughs> then I have this one and it's still got the actual security tag on this is my valuable total cover this is in the shade 24 golden beige I like this because I like full coverage makeup but I don't think it doesn't last on my face a long time because I've got really oily skin um, I've nearly finished this I don't know if I'm going to be getting any more I think after I finish this I'm so sorry guys. After I finish this I think I might get the Estee Lauder Double Wear because I bought this as a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, and now I fancy going on to the proper thing but again I really like this. Next we have this highlighter which is a highlight that I've come back to. I've had this for quite a while and I um, used to wear it all the time and then I got my new one which is the pure glow and i've gone back onto this because i absolutely love this this is a bare minerals highlighter it's called mineral veil i've got it on my face today i don't know guys if you guys can see because of the lighting but this is such like um it's all loose and it's like um 
very glittery and I love glitter so I do highly recommend this highlighter next we have a brush this is what I put my highlighter with it's actually called a contour brush um, this is a real text leaks one I think it's like one of the first real tech leaks brush I've ever owned and then we go on to this this is my primer this is a primer that also goes with this one it's just the L'Oreal Inflammable Mattifying Base I don't know this is like I've had um, the Benefit Professional Primers before and uh, they were my first one and this one so I've only ever had tried out two primers don't really know if I like this I don't know if this because my face is so on I don't know if it goes with my face or not but it's going okay at the moment but I'm excited to try some more so if you guys know any good primers for oily skin then let me know down in the comments um, next we have this, this is a disgusting, this is my Real Techniques um, beauty, blend, well, sorry, beauty Blender but sponge blender thing. I love this, I've never actually tried the Beauty Blender before, I've only ever tried the Real Techniques one but it always works well for me so let me guys know if you guys have tried both or if you think the Beauty Blender is actually worth it. And then we go on to this, this is just my Bourjois Paris um, I use this as blush but I don't really wear blush I shouldn't have any blush in my everyday makeup bag don't know why I've never been into blush I think it's because naturally my face is so red so I love to like cover it up and not to be red but um, yeah I have this anyway in there so I better take that out then we go into tape I always use this for eyeliner because I cannot do winged eyeliner or if I really want to really cut <coughs> eyeshadow I always use tape, this is not proper makeup tape, this is masking tape that I took from my school's art department, um, I find it works for me but obviously I recommend you guys to get the proper stuff, I've never tried the proper stuff but yeah this is what I use. Then we go into this one, this is my Lancome powder brush, I just use this for my powder, I really like this brush, the only thing is the brushes always fall out onto my face so after I put my powder on I have to like go and pick them all off which is quite annoying but it's fine. <coughs> next, <coughs> next we have my glitter primer, this is a next one, if you guys um, have been with me for quite a while you guys know I have my own cosmetic glitter business. So this is what I stick down my cosmetic glitter with. Um, if you guys are interested, I will link down my uh, website down below if you guys want to get any cosmetic glitter. And then we go on to have this brush, and this is the Eco Tools Smudge and Blend. I don't really use this top anymore because I've bought some new brushes, but I always use this bottom here, and I literally like do my under eyes here always with that size. Now we're going to go into my powder, this is just like the Brimble London Clear Complexion Powder and it's just literally powder, it's in transparent, I always buy it transparent because I can never match myself. Then we go into this, this is, I also have the Benefit Hula Bronzer, um, it's somewhere on my normal makeup but I don't know why suddenly I've got really into the brushes, I've never been into the brushes before, I was just like why do they make these like no one uses them but I've actually been really into this so I've actually been using this with all my, my Anastasia Beverly Hill contour kit, um, I think it just really defies and gives you got really sharp lines, um, I've seen like there's that brush that's going around like the bronze like contour brushes it's so expensive like it's like £40, is it a Nazwell or something? And I think it looks like this, but it's like got black and it's long. I'm not too sure. But anyway, this is what I've been using. Then we go into a brush. This is a Makeup Revolution brush. I just use this for like my base um, eyeshadows. Um, and it's quite good. Then we go on to this one. This brush is literally disgusting. When I'm feeling really lazy and when my sort of real techniques beauty blender is dry, I will use the brush. I love this brush. This is the Expert Face Brush. I love this foundation. Um, I always switch between the two. I go through phases or if I'm just being lazy because I can't bother to go and wet that. And then we go on to this. Now this is really grim because I got the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. 
to the this side but it literally snapped off and I was so annoyed so now I have none left but I always use the other side because it has a spoonie so I always spoonie my eyebrows for it maybe I should just buy a normal spoonie but I'm just using this at the moment next we have some eyelash curlers I literally haven't used eyelash curlers in ages but recently I started to curl my eyelashes and I'm like yes this is like amazing why did I ever not stop using these then we go into my L'Oreal Mega Volume Baby Roll. I love this mascara. I think it gives me so much volume. I love it. Um, then I go into my NYX Face Duo like Sculpt and Highlight. I'm not too sure if I like this product. I've got it on my face today. I don't know if it's worked well. But um, let's see what colour it is for you. It is in the colour you know what it doesn't say but yeah there you go so next i have my ooh, fell my lasting collection lasting perfection uh, concealer which everyone has which is in the fair i always get in the fair which is the lightest shade i think then we have a glitter this is just one of the glitters from my glitter queens um, I always have it in here in case I want a pop of colour, it's just this beautiful like light baby pink colour, I don't wear it every day, um, but it's always in there if I have extra time, um, as I said I'll link that down below if you guys are interested, then we have ooh, two of these, these are just the Benefit Creaseless Colour Wash, and I always, I don't really know what these are, I think they're like creamy eyeshadows, but I always like to put a shimmer on there or use a bunch of different mattes. So I usually use this as a base um, and it works well. Although they kind of like sting my eyes a little bit which I have noticed. So that's not a good thing so maybe I am allergic. But yeah, there we go. They're still in there. Um, oh, this is a disgusting one. Next we have a eyelash glue. I think this is just the ones that I got in the Primark eyelashes and it's absolutely disgusting. But yeah, that's in there. Um, then we have my eyebrow brush, which I always use for my eyebrow. This is not a brand. I bought this absolutely years ago. No, I didn't. I got this for a Christmas present in a whole brush set. And I managed to keep this one out of it because this one is amazing. And I always use it for my eyebrows. And I may as well show you what I use for my eyebrows. This is the Freedom Pomade in the colour Soft Brown. Um, I hear everyone raving about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade, but I never bought it. And then I saw this one in Superdrug and it was really cheap. So I got the Freedom one and I really like it. And then next week I have a sample of the Essilon Double Wear because the actual one I used to use, my four bottle was so dark for me because I had a lot of flake colour when I went and got colour matched. So I got colour matched again for a lighter shade so I have this in there. May as well show you, oh, and I have another sample. Um, this is the Lancome. I actually got my face today because now I'm pale because literally my natural skin's really pale or I go tan so I need like a mixture so this is just my palest one this is a Lancome um, Trend Idol Ultra Wear in the colour um, don't know it doesn't say a colour but it's really really pale for me and then I may as well show you my other foundations in here this is the True Match and the True Match L'Oreal this is the Revlon Colour Stay these are really really tanned for me so these are what i'm tanned and literally i hear so much good things about these that i thought i'd go and buy them so these are i almost think these are a little bit this one's a little bit too dark for me this is in the color amber no golden amber which is the color 7d slash 7w if that means anything to you guys and then the color stay i think this is my favorite out of the like of them because it is for combination to oily skin which i have oily skin and it does last 24 hours i don't know i've never worn it for 24 hours but it does usually last and this is in the color true beige <coughs> which is in the color 320 if you guys are interested then i have my nyx hd um 
like eyeshadow base which I haven't used that much but it's always in there and then we have my last few products we have my tweezers because I always put eyelashes on with my tweezers even though I have any eyelashes in my bag I usually do but I don't at the moment so I always use my tweezers to apply them and then we have another brush this is a, another revolution brush which is more of like a crease blending brush then we have my NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. I can't use any of the eyeliner other than like the felt tip ones, which I still have to use with my tape. And then last but not least, I have one of the mini Benefit They're Real Mascaras. Literally the first time I used this, I was like, what? Like literally, this is so rubbish. And then I used it again, but I actually sort of building the mascara up if you guys are into that I know some people don't like building it up but then it literally applied amazingly and it made my eyelashes look so long and it was crazy so literally guys that is the end that is my bag finished obviously I don't wear all of this makeup like every day like I do pick random ones this is just what I sort of wear most days um, like I've got this sort of uh, thing to pick from if you guys do want to see all of my makeup um, then leave it down below and I will show you because over there on my drawers I have a whole thing of more makeup with all my lipsticks and colours and glitters and brushes and other palettes uh, obviously I'm not like a huge youtuber so don't be expecting massive drawer fills but I do have quite a good collection I think um, so that's it. If you like this video, then please give it a like and thanks so much for watching and if you want to see any more of me, I'm really sorry that I'm ill, um, please press that subscribe button and thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!